It's 16 January, and uh, so we're just a couple, three, four weeks into winter here. And uh, just wanted to illustrate some of the uh, damage that's occurred already. This is a Dipsis lepticulus, lepticulus, however they say. Real shame, this thing's probably about uh, 25 feet overall, 8 meters or so. And uh, it enjoyed about 15 good winters here, so it'll come back probably, but it's going to look like crap for a couple years. Real shame. The mango's doing all right. I'm seeing some vegetative growth come out. I hope it does flower between now and March. You can see the top got burnt. I got a great crop for that mango tree last year, so maybe maybe I'll be lucky. Who knows? There's a Arcata Phoenix Tucker Eye there that's fried. Uh, a little surprised by that, but some of those Arcata Phoenix aren't very cold tolerant. Dipsis lutescens, illustrating further damage. And my beloved Kenyopsis oliviformis here, looking okay, but still not real happy. I uh, got some burned out papayas. Yet again, showing testament to the uh, to the cold that we've had so far. We've had uh, two big freeze events so far on the Treasure Coast of Florida, and the first one was in the first week of December, which is unprecedented for this area. This is a little well. There's a stick there that used to be a cashew tree. Not anymore. Uh, African oil palm elise cadensis there. It's completely fried. This thing died last year, but I'm using it I was using it to train vines for a while there. And all the bananas are fried, so uh and there was one little palm here that I'll note. It's down there for a crown shafted feathery thing. That's quite a stigma savoriana, but that actually did good, so I'll let that be my good news of this video. But we still got about nine, ten weeks to go. And uh, see what happens. Cut them down and put a new one in, right?